My dear Bryn, today is the day that you are supposed to make your grand entrance into this world, but instead we'll celebrate the short amount of time you had with us here on Earth. The 20 weeks your daddy and I had with you were the best 20 weeks of our lives. The day I found out that your heart had stopped beating, I felt like my world crashed down all around me. You meant everything to your daddy and I, and we would give anything to have you back in our arms, giggling and smiling today. But in the short 20 weeks that your heart beat, you did more than you'll ever know, baby girl. You mended your parents' marriage, you brought life back into your mama's heart, and now you've touched the lives of almost 70,000 people across the world. You are a miracle, Brynn, and you always will be. Today we will honor you and thank God for the time we got with you, and thank God that I was the one who was blessed enough to be your mama and carry you for those five months we had you. We love you more than we'll ever be able to express our little angel, and we'll see you again, baby. So I just arrived at the cemetery where my daughter is buried and I just brought her some balloons and some flowers to her spot um, because I usually do that about once a month but on this day and on her birthday and holidays I plan on coming to bring her some special stuff just so people know how loved she was and I'm just going to allow myself to sit there for as long as I need to cry whether that's 10 minutes or an hour or two hours I don't care as long as I need to just be able to sit there and feel everything that I've been feeling because I've been putting it off today I've only allowed myself to cry a little bit and I have a lot more built up so here we go
Okay, you guys, we just left the beach. I don't know if you kind of got from what we showed in the clips, but me and Justin decided to do something really special, and so that special thing was that I wrote Bryn a letter, and Justin wrote Bryn a letter where he is, and we both did message in a bottle to her in the middle of the ocean, and so it's really cool because mine is in Oceanside. Well, it took off in Oceanside, and it will eventually float somewhere else, and Justin did his kind of in the middle of nowhere and so it's just kind of cool it was a really cool like thing that we kind of got to do together even though we're not together and I wanted to do something really unique and special for her due date and a lot of people had recommended other things but I just didn't know what I wanted to do until I heard what I wanted to do and I just knew right when I heard that 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 was what I wanted to do so now we are gonna go get something to eat we're gonna go home and enjoy the rest of the so I just got home from the beach with my mom. We were able to get some food together and just talk, which was really good. I was just really glad with how today went and getting to do that incredibly special thing that Justin and I got to do together. I think that her due date was really hard this morning and then after tonight, I just had a lot of peace and being able to just write her all of the things I wanted to tell her was just so peaceful like it just gave me such peace being able to express my emotions and cry and just tell her how much I loved her and how much I wish today would have been so different but knowing that she is up in heaven watching over me and Justin is one of the greatest gifts I could have ever asked for to know that she's happy and smiling and looking down on all of us all of her family obviously today is a really sad day because I wanted her to be here but being able to kind of do that and do our own special thing to commemorate her made today a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm just so glad I was able to find something that both Justin and I were able to participate in together for her due date. Even though we're thousands of miles apart, we were able to do this thing for her due date together as a couple, <laughs> millions of miles apart. And it's just such a really cool experience that we got to do that and I'm really touched that we both were able to participate in today together. The hard thing about stillbirth is that your due date is a hard day and then your daughter or son's birthday is a hard day as well. So come next year, May 16th, 2018, that will be one year since she was born. So we'll celebrate her birthday that day. So it's kind of like a double whammy. I think Amy from Water's Wife said it best. It's just hard having to go through both of those. So I'm glad that I feel like I made it over that first hump, which was her first due date. And now the next few humps for the holidays are coming up and that's gonna be really hard too. But if I was able to get through today, then I think I'm going to be able to get through the rest of those days, as hard as they might be. I'm really hoping that you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to honor Bryn's memory and the best way I knew how was her mom. And that was to show the world how important she was, how much of a life she was how much I will miss her forever and ever and ever and how she will always be mine and Justin's firstborn first daughter miracle we love her more than anything in this entire world and we love you guys so much too we're so thankful for all of your guys' love and support this week has been really hard and now that today is over I feel like I can finally breathe again so we love you guys we will talk to you tomorrow and thank you so much for watching this special video for our daughter love you Ha <laughs>